If you need to add a clickable link to a website or skip to a page at a click from the table of contents, this can easily be done in a PDF dedicated editor. If you've got a document you need to add links to, here's how to do it. PDFs aren't meant to be edited by default, so you'll need to use a dedicated PDF editor. Though free editors are available, they might not be entirely up to spec, while your best options like Adobe Acrobat Pro can cost quite a bit. Luckily, Sedgda manages to handle this easily enough for free. Just click on the link in the description below to get to the site. Once it loads, click on Upload PDF File to find and select the file you want to work on. Once you've found it, click on Open to upload and open the document on the web editor. To add a link, click on the link icon at the top. On your document, click and drag to create a clickable area for your link. The area will be highlighted in blue. A menu will then pop up for you to choose what's linked to the area. You can link an external URL, email address, phone number, or an internal page. Just select an option, paste or type in the information needed, then click on your document to close the menu and set the option. Once you're done, click on Apply Changes. Sedja will process your edits on the PDF and give you a link to download the edited copy. Just click on the download button to get a copy of your edited PDF. As a free service, there are some limits to what you can do with this. As of recording, you can only process documents up to 200 pages or 50 megabytes and do three tasks per hour. While this is fine if you only need to make the occasional edit on a document or two, if you need to frequently edit PDF documents, upgrading to Sedja Pro, or buying any other fully featured PDF editor programs might be something to consider. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering PDFs and other technology. And don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.